what is good guys back here with another YouTube video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on something or someone going on in this wacky weird world people decided to call pro wrestling guys you can tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on Ronda Rousey before I do that would love to know what your thoughts on her are down in the comments below while you are down there feel free to hit the like subscribe turn on post notifications and if you somehow met ronda rousey would love to know what your experience was like down in the comments below was it good was it bad uh why was it that way and was it worth your time and was it worth it financially I never met her, uh, mostly because I don't think I had the opportunity to meet her kind of deal. The closest I've ever done to meeting her was after a WWE event in, it was in Toronto, I want to say like March of 2019, when they were coming out of the venue uh, kind of deal, and she was on like the other side of the barricade kind of deal, like driving on the right side of the road kind of deal, not the left. Uh, and whatnot, but either way, I uh, would love to know what your experience was like, as well as your thoughts on her, down in the comments below. And when it comes to Ronda, the first time I had ever heard about her was uh, actually during WrestleMania 31, when she it was her, The Rock, Triple H, and Stephanie McMahon doing their thing in the middle of the ring, kind of deal, like halfway or whatever, uh, through WrestleMania. And for the record, I never watched UFC and I don't really care to watch the UFC because I don't care about that sport kind of deal of MMA. No disrespect to anybody there, but I just don't give a, a flying F about it kind of deal and whatnot. But when it comes to Ronda, that was the first time I had ever heard about her. Like I never watched UFC. Uh, if she did interviews before that, never watched it. If she did movies before that, never watched them either. But then again, they're movies. Uh, kind of deal. And then the next time I heard about her was, I want to say it was 2016. I might be wrong. Or 2017 when she lost uh, the, the two UFC matches back to, not back to back, but like they were a year apart, but her two matches that she lost. And I remember people freaking the F out uh, because of that for whatever reason. Again, I don't really care about the UFC, so I didn't really care who won, who lost, uh, kind of deal and whatnot. Then one thing led to another. She started appearing uh, regularly enough uh, on WWE TV in January of 2018. And for myself personally, because of my... Uh, no, I cared zero. Like, if I could care less about, uh, UFC, I would kind of deal. So, therefore, I didn't really care about, uh, Ronda. So, when she came, like I said, January of 2018, after the women's, uh, Royal Rumble match, uh, that year, I want to say it was in Philly or Pittsburgh, somewhere in the state of uh, Pennsylvania, because that was the Rumble pay-per-view where Adam Cole wrestled. Uh, in the match, uh, along with Andrade, if I remember right. But either way, I did not care, kind of deal. It's like, oh, she's here, whippy doo da day, kind of deal. Like, yay. Uh, I was more excited that Asuka won, kind of deal, than Ronda being in WWE. And honestly, that's how I felt during her run in WWE, whether it was 2018, 2019, or this kind of Re the most recent one run, uh, kind of deal from, I think it was, she came back in January 2021, if I remember right, after having a kid, uh, and whatnot, and I just simply don't care, nothing against Rhonda, I never met her, never had any social media interaction with her, but just based off of what I have seen within WWE, kind of deal, uh, she, she hasn't given me a reason to care kind of deal she's not horrible in the ring she's better at that than i am but to me personally she's not entertaining in the ring she's not entertaining on the mic uh and whatnot i apparently she has some sort of youtube thing or at least had uh one didn't watch that because i don't care don't watch your movies 
uh, that she was in, I don't know if that was before or after WWE uh, kind of deal and whatnot, because I just don't care, because I don't find her entertaining. And there's are some wrestlers that, whether they're within WWE or AEW or New Japan or the independent scene kind of deal that might not be good in the ring or good on the mic, but they're entertaining at either one of them. Therefore, I care kind of deal in some way, shape, or form whether I would want to see them win and kick some butt or their butt get kicked. I I care about watching them kind of deal. And when it comes to Ronda Rousey, I, I just don't care. It's my bathroom break. It's my, oh, uh, I kind of want some Lay's ketchup chips. I'm going to see if I have any uh, kind of deal. Like, that's my quote-unquote bathroom break kind of deal, whether it's a tag match that she's in or a one-on-one -on -one or a triple threat, elimination chamber, rumble kind of deal. I just... When she's on my TV, I just flat out don't care kind of deal because from what I've seen in that year and a bit run from like January of 18 to April of 19 to January of 2021 up until now or 2022 whenever she won the Rumble uh, kind of deal. 2022 I guess it would be. I haven't seen anything that she has given out that made me care kind of deal. No promos off the top of my head. Yeah, she was a part of the uh, WrestleMania 35 main event, but I cared way more, like a gazillion times more about Charlotte, which is saying something, and a gazillion times more than that about Becky. Uh, kind of deal and whatnot. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Not, like, again, I never met her. Would I want to meet her? If I do, cool. If I don't, cool if that makes any sort of sense. She is not, for myself personally, whatever her prices are for Comic-Con, if she ever does that, or an access or the equivalent, for me personally, unless it's a general omission, or if it's a dollar for a professional photo and a dollar for an autograph, then I I, I would consider it kind of deal. Like, general omission being free, and if I had a VIP kind of deal to meet somebody, then I would consider it. Anything outside of that, for myself personally, it's not worth it because I just don't really care kind of deal and whatnot. But either way, that's it for this video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. More importantly, hope you guys are doing okay mentally, emotionally, and physically. The world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. Lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside. I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. But it's